Tristan. So today is going to be my first of probably lots, uh, best of the brand videos. And these will hopefully be kind of shorter videos because I'm going to be talking about one product from each brand that is my favorite. And I will say this, I'm sure, in every video like this, I clearly have not tried everything from all of the brands, but these are my favorites of a particular brand. I didn't know quite how to approach this, so I ended up deciding that I would go through in alphabetical order. <laughs> Why not? And I will be doing both high-end and drugstore. I think I will probably do a little bit more high-end than drugstore only because if you're going to spend higher-end money on something, I want to tell you what I like from that brand. Does that make sense? If you disagree with me, go ahead and let me know nicely, of course, below that you want to see more drugstore, and I certainly can do that as well. You know, maybe I'll do every other one then. I was kind of thinking I would do maybe three high-end to one drugstore kind of a thing. But so, anyway, what I think is the best of the Bare Minerals brand is their Ready Pressed Eyeshadows. Now, I have used their loose blushes, loose shadows, and I used their foundation for, not the pressed foundation, I used the loose foundation for probably five years before I started YouTube and really started to kind of branch out and find other foundations. So I do, f those are great products, but what I feel is their kind of crowning glory is their ready pressed eyeshadows. So I have currently anyway, this is what I have from them. So I have seven quads and I have actually seven duos. Um, as of today actually I'm starting to do the video that I promised where I'm showing you a look with each of the duos on my eyes. So that'll be um, a video that will be coming probably in a week and a half or so, something like that. I'm not sure exactly. But so today I do have one of those on my eyes. What The reason that I feel like this is the, the best of the brand is these shadows for the most part, it, gosh, I can't think of one that I have that I don't like, but they are very smooth and very silky and they, they last a long time. They're just a beautiful product in my opinion. My favorite quad of all time, the one that I wear, that's my go-to quad, and I'll grab it out of here, um, is the Truth Quad. If you've been around a little bit, you, got, you guys already know that and you probably said it with me, but this is the Truth Quad. Just a really nice everyday, has a gorgeous taupe in it, of course. A very nice bra bone highlight, and you know, a matte, one with a little bit of shimmer. Just the the quality on these shadows is so so nice. I just have I've not been disappointed with any of the quads that I've received, either in a kit, and that's what these ones are from, a kit that I've been getting from QVC, or in any of the duos. So I'll just let me just give you a swatch of this one since this is one I have on my eyes today. They just, well you can see, I mean look at that. It's just a gorgeous kind of golden taupe and then even the matte applies very very nicely. I just, I've, I've not, like I said, I've not been disappointed with a single of the ready eyeshadows that I've gotten in and I think, in my opinion, that is the best of their brand. So. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you have any questions, leave it below and I'll get back to you. If you're not interested in seeing, seeing what is on the rest of my face, thank you so much for watching. And if you are, I will run it down quickly for you. As I mentioned, I am wearing this duo on my eyes. I have this color all over the lid. I have this in the outer third and pulled into the crease. This AHA comes off very warmly when you put it on your lid, so I used MAC Soft Brown in the crease and some brulee up top. I used the Black Coco Liner from Pixie below as well as on top and on my waterline. And I smudged it out below though with that taupe versus normally I would smudge it with this or just smudge it on its own. I smudged it with this just to give it a different kind of look. On my lips today, I have the Liz Watier liner in nude and I have the Revlon Wink for pink. And on my cheeks today, it was kind of a bare minerals day. I have the blush that I grabbed at the Mall of America and um, the the Adrenaline Rush. I kind of have mostly this one and a little bit of that. So, All right, I hope that you guys enjoyed this. Again, if you have any questions, leave them below. Thank you so much for watching, and I will talk to you soon. Bye!